Greetings, Dan Daniels here. This is a review of the deploy script. Um, here is my input, user interface, takes in text. Um, and here is the output. And you can see that it generated something, but it's, they're not a list of words in English. So I said, uh, B, the words must be in English. And then it said, well, we can't do that because I need a dictionary API. And it only runs, it only works with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which makes me immediately wonder who is going to build the, the Python script or the Flutter or the flat generator that is going to generate real code. Uh, because this, this one here, you can see, and here's the source. Um, There it is. There's the script.js, and I don't know if it's going to let me take a look at that. Probably not. Ah, here it is. Okay, so it does let me um, does let me look at the JS. That's cool. Um, and let's see the C There is no CSS to speak of, so I'm not going to worry about that. So I went ahead and created another form or another output, and let's see if this is any better. Form is per your request. You can access it here. Open link in the window. Form to JSON. Okay, so. <clears throat> uh, and today's date. Oh, it gives me a picker. Nice. Okay, note to self. Learn JSON. And submit. And now when I saved a file. Um, it's saving to my desktop. You probably can't see that because it's, uh, I'm only sharing my tab. But hey, it did work and it did save the JSON. So, well, for what it's worth, um, the if you just need HTML, JS, and CSS, this little deploy script might be what you're looking for. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'm looking forward to somebody smarter than me creating a PyScript or a Flutter or a Flat application that uh, connects directly to GPT-4 plugins. Thanks for watching and happy computing.